Hello, my name is Alexandria Brianna for Coog Cinema Reviews, and today I will be reviewing Captain Marvel. The movie takes place in the Hala, capital of the Kree civilization, and C-53, Hala jargon for Earth. The aerial view of the city looks like a futuristic Tokyo, Japan. Watching it in the IMAX theater, I felt in the moment and almost as if I can breathe the air. Brie Larson was an excellent actor in Captain Marvel. She was extremely passionate in her role and it almost seemed as if she wasn't acting at all. I feel like she captured the essence of the character effortlessly and I'm looking forward to seeing her show up in Endgame. I was extremely surprised to see Samuel L. Jackson made his appearance in Captain Marvel as Nick Fury. Although Samuel L. Jackson has always played the same typical character, he looked incredibly young in this movie from the CGI used in production, which was a great look. Now typically I can call out the villain before it's revealed, but I could not detect the real villain until the end of the movie and I think you guys will be shocked as well to discover who it is. Towards the end there was a fantastic action scene. The moment was so powerful that everyone felt it in the IMAX audience. I was completely amazed at the power she had from just two fists. As usual, every Marvel fan knows that at the very end, you stay after the credits. To see the glimpse of what's next in the Marvel's world and Captain Marvel's credits did not disappoint. Overall, my personal view, I would definitely rate this movie a 9 out of 10. Solid. So thank you for watching. Let us know your thoughts about Captain Marvel in the comments below. If you like this review, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and like us on Facebook for more reviews. This has been Alexandria Brianna for Kook Cinema Reviews and I will see you next time.